In this video, we will be discussing four BRC20 tokens that you need to know about. Will these tokens 10x, 50x, or 100x? Stay tuned to the end to get our full list. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Verse Crypto channel the number one altcoin channel in all of crypto. My name's Chaos Chris, and I'll be your host today. Before we off this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn bell notifications on so that I keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information within this space. With that being said, let's hop right in this video. In this video, we're gonna be discussing BRC20 tokens and dive into what are these tokens. You probably heard a lot of stuff about Bitcoin DeFi, and this is gonna be the bull market where we're actually gonna see it explode. On top of that, there are four BRC20 tokens that are silently gaining momentum and could possibly go viral very soon. So stay tuned to the end to get our full list. So to start off, your first question might be, what are BRC20 tokens? You've probably seen it all over Twitter. You've probably seen NFTs and all the Bitcoin guys really messing around with it. So we come over here to Investopedia and just break it down. Bitcoin ordinals are the equivalent to non-fungible tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain using Satoshis, the smallest denomination on the chain. Every Satoshi is given a serial number based on an order in which it was mined. These numbers are called ordinals and they help the blockchain keep track of where every Satoshi is and who owns it. These ordinals can have additional content written to them, a process called inscribing. By attaching extra data to a Satoshi, such as an image or text, the, or the ordinal protocol makes it possible to create a unique and scarce digital asset, such as an NFT, um, that benefit from the security decentralization of the Bitcoin blockchain. The Bitcoin mainnet ordinals software was released in January of 2023. Long story short, Bitcoin ordinals are basically NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain attached to a Satoshi that can be transferred from one wallet to another. This is probably the closest thing you're, you are going to get to smart contracts on top of the Bitcoin blockchain, but please keep in mind these are not smart contracts. Now, what's really interesting about BRC20 tokens, it started off as a bug and a mistake, but turned into a really great trend that's taken the entire Bitcoin community by storm. And a lot of these inscriptions have actually gained insane market caps. Now, when these BRC20 tokens are launched on top of the Bitcoin blockchain, they actually go through a fair launch process where most of them have a cap supply of 21 million tokens. And basically you can go in inscribe the token and just receive free tokens and essentially the only thing you have to pay is a gas fee and this method reflects satoshi's vision on a free transparent fair launch blockchain that many developers still use to this day now if we come over here to unisat unisat is basically the number one place for trading brc20s Right As of right now, BRC20s haven't really developed a decentralized exchange yet that's similar to Uniswap. So essentially it uses a traditional marketplace where you can put your BRC20 tokens up for auction. You can go through, purchase them using Bitcoin, and that's the main method of exchange. Please keep in mind, we will see DEXs in the future. And once those launches, there's a good chance that a lot of these tokens will appreciate like crazy. Now out of the BRC20 ordinal boom, there was one token that took the entire space by storm. It was also the first token to launch within the BRC20 token space. And the name of that token is ORD. And for those guys who don't know, ORD, as I said earlier, it's one of the first BRC20 tokens built on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. When it first launched, it basically was a free claim. You go in, you mint the Ordi token, you pay the gas fee, and you get the tokens for free. And so right, right around the time when it launched, it was sitting at about um, $20, $25, and it got as low as $3. And basically what happened was Ordi was the first BRC20 token to get launched on Binance Smart Chain. And since then, this token went from $3 to almost as high as $80 at the uh, time of this recording. So essentially the main point I'm trying to get across is Ordi's is very similar to a meme token, but there's a lot of value behind this token because it was the first BRC20 token. At the time of this recording, 
already is sitting at about 1.6 billion dollars and there's a good chance that we could potentially see this token explode into the future now how i envision a lot of these brc20 tokens is the number one token could capture anywhere between two percent and ten percent of the bitcoin market cap so if you look at bitcoin's total market cap just envision that some of these brc20 tokens or maybe the entire market can get as high as two percent to ten percent of that so for example one trillion that would translate to anywhere into the hundred billions and then if we get as high as three trillion that could be 300 billion and so on and so forth now do i think already is going to get up to this market cap i'm not really sure but i do firmly believe when bitcoin starts to go viral there is a potential that this market cap could get as high as 50 billion dollars and that is why already is your first brc20 altcoin gym for your second brc20 altcoin gym the name of this project is sats and if you guys know what sats are they're basically a meme coin of satoshis now for every bitcoin there's approximately 100 million satoshis assigned to it and so satoshis was basically launched through the same process ordies was launched and it was another free claim you go in you mint the token and you get the token for free basically and since it launched this token has absolutely been skyrocketing it's actually the second highest appreciating brc20 token across the entire market and the reason why it's skyrocketing so quickly is because it the sats meme coin is a build off of satoshis which a lot of people talk about in the community and has really gained a lot of traction on top of that, Layer 2 Scaling Solutions are actually going to be incor incorporating SATs, the BRC20 inscription, as a gas token on their sidechain to approve transactions within the Bitcoin blockchain, which is absolutely huge. And so in my opinion, SATs is not only a meme coin, but also it's a meme coin with utility, especially when we start to see some of these Layer 2 Scaling Solutions roll out. And that is why SATs is your second BRC20 hidden altcoin gem. And for your third BRC20 hit, hidden altcoin gem, this is one of the first projects that actually launched a utility behind the BRC20 token ecosystem. It's planning on launching a decentralized exchange and also a bridge from the popular Ethereum blockchain to the Bitcoin blockchain, making it one of the first BRC20 token bridges out there. And the name of this project is OrdiSwap. If you guys want to come over and check out ordyswap.fi, um, you can come over here and just check out the website. I'm going to come down here to the frequently asked questions. So basically, what is Ordyswap? Um, it's, its main goal is to be a decentralized exchange. It's going to uh, merge Bitcoin with um, Ethereum. It's going to have a bridge token where essentially you can swap from the Bitcoin blockchain, the RC20 chain into the ethereum blockchain so it's adding that interoperability that's very much needed and the reason why this is really important is because typically when traders go from bitcoin to ethereum they sell their bitcoin on a centralized exchange and then they buy the ethereum and then send it to a hot wallet or a cold wallet and the whole nine yards what ori swap is doing is, is actually creating a bridge from bitcoin to ethereum allowing us to bypass the centralized exchanges and just go straight into ethereum which is going to be huge and if ori swap can position itself to be one of the main protocols between bitcoin and ethereum there's a good chance that this token could absolutely explode now coming over here to the price of Ordi, it's sitting at about 20 cents um it had an initial run up of about a 2x so it was sitting right around 0 0.06 so about two to three x run up and so in my opinion if they can be the premium brc20 exchange and they can also add this interoperability component there's a good chance that we could see this market cap get into the billions of dollars and be a very similar competitor to uniswap and that is why ordi swap is your third hidden altcoin gym for your fourth hidden altcoin gym this brc20 token has been developing a lot of utility for the entire space not only are they getting into a decentralized exchange they're also putting out a launch pad a mobile integration and the list goes on and the name of this token is brc20.com so if you guys come over here to brc20.com you can check out this overall protocol 
And essentially what BRC20 token doc, BRC20 uh, is trying to do with the .com token is build as much utility as humanly possible that's similar to Ethereum on the Bitcoin blockchain. And so as of right now, they're building a mobile wallet. So if you guys want to trade BRC20s, you can, you can use it. They're getting into a cross-chain bridge. They're getting to a multi-mint. Now, one of the biggest downsides of these BRC20 inscriptions is when you get a lot of these mints on the Bitcoin blockchain, it slows down the chain, increases gas fees. And so they're actually creating a component where you can do multiple mints through their protocol. On top of that, they're going to have a marketplace and then they're going to be doing staking. Now, if I scroll down here and we come under, under the stake turn, this is the most important part of this entire protocol. So BRC20.com has many components from a decentralized exchange to cross-chain interoperability, but they're one of the first products to implement something called stake to earn, where you can buy up the token, stake it, get into BRC20 token launches, and also earn platform fees that are generated through the wallet, the bridge, and any sort of service they offer on this platform. And that's one thing that really caught my interest because we haven't seen many launch pads built on top of Bitcoin and because BRC20.com is one of the first one, they have a first mover advantage and launch pads are typically one of the hottest items in a bull market. Now, moving on to a little bit of a price analysis, BRC20 token um, has been out since the end of 2023. And since it's been out, it actually had a, a little bit of a price correction and it's still laying really really low at a 39 million dollar market cap and so in my opinion i think this token is oversold and i think it has the potential to absolutely run up once they start launching their cross-chain bridge getting into the wallet app and also launch their launch pad where more brc20 tokens can launch on top of bitcoin and that is why brc20.com is your fourth brc20 hidden altcoin gem now just a little bit wrap up of brc20 tokens BRC20 tokens, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit traditional, especially with the Bitcoin blockchain. Now, the reason why I'm really extremely bullish on this entire ecosystem is based solely off of one thing. When Bitcoin goes up, we see a value transfer going from Bitcoin to Ethereum in the bull market. And in my opinion, with these BRC20 tokens and these Bitcoin layer two scaling solutions, these Bitcoin DeFi products are positioned to be in between Bitcoin and Ethereum. And so some of that money that's moving over into Ethereum, it's gonna pass through some of these protocols and some of these BRC20s, which makes it an extremely lucrative opportunity for anyone who does wanna buy into Bitcoin, but also wants to speculate on some sort of leverage play on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. And that's part of the reason why I am extremely bullish on BRC20s. Now guys, that's it for the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite token. And also let me know if I miss any of them. And before I wrap this video up, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and turn bell notifications on. So I keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information within this space. My name is Chaos Chris. I love every single one of you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out y'all.